the guys, we got a couple things to go over that I found quite interesting. I want some rest. <laughs> All right, so diving straight into everything, San Antonio Spurs, we like them, right? I think we're a fan of them here. We, we kind of like, they're okay. They're okay, team. Um, so the San Antonio Spurs will be facing off against the Dallas Mavericks October 24th. Now, as far as the NBA schedule, that's going to come out pretty soon. So we'll go over that when that's actually out. But we did get news that Chris Paul and Wimbanyama will face off against Luka Doncic on October 24th, TNT, Thursday night. I am actually really looking forward to this. I don't even know, are we even are we even rivals with Dallas anymore? I don't, I don't think that the Spurs are rivals with Dallas Mavericks in, anymore. Even when we were, we were pretty cool with them. Like we had immense respect for them. Um, I, don't, I, I don't know one Mavericks fan that I dislike, honestly. Um, everyone seems pretty cool on that side and they seem to respect Spurs fans as well. So I don't, I don't think we got any beef there. I don't think we have any beef, but nonetheless, it should be a lot of fun. I would have rather took on the Rockets, you know, just start off the year right, how it should be started off. But hey, I'll take on the Dallas Mavericks. That's cool with me. Um, but like I said, we'll go over um, some of the other matchups later on when we get there. And as far as uh, what I expect from the Spurs this upcoming season, I've already said it. I think that we can get to 35. I truly do believe that. Um, but I don't think that that's enough to make it to the playoffs. So some people have talk i think we were going live not that long ago and someone brought up like ah oh, clan it seems like you don't you know want the spurs to make playoff no i i do want the spurs to make playoff I'm, I'm done with the whole tanking thing by the way like that that was for wimby i'm done with it i don't care how great the 2025 uh, uh draft is which it is a great one okay i care but i don't care you know I, i'm just focused in on spurs getting as much experience as they can winning games and that I'm, I'm just a straight up fan i'm not worried about all the other stuff i think brian wright set us up pretty nicely that i don't even have to think about it right so um but i don't think we'll make the playoffs we'll get a couple good uh, first round picks next season that's what i'm assuming but i am going for us to to try to make the playoffs but anyways also 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 last word of business montclair he had something to say so big shout out to spurs reporter for posting this so this is what hall of fame player and broadcaster montclair had to say about victor Wambayama. now as far as saying his name is jackie right I know that a lot of people just say Jackez, Jackwez, or whatever, Jackies, like Jackie. I'm pretty sure it's Jackie. Is it Jackie? You guys can let me know in the comments. I have uh, I have a lot of uh, French people that, that follow. All right, so he said here, he's a different player, even though I hear he's maybe not as dominant as expected. Where you hear that from? He cleans the rim. When guys see his head, they go around to avoid him. He's a constant problem for the opponent. Then he takes good shots against Germany in the semifinal. Then you have to be tougher. He's a dribbler and there's less room to express yourself than in the NBA. And the pressure of the result, which he didn't really have this season with San Antonio, is stronger. I actually brought that up as well. I think that we went over... Oh gosh, I'm already forgetting his name. I'm blanking right now. I, I'm I'm just too sleepy. I, I already forgot. We, we went over... We went over Windhorse. I think it was Windhorse. Uh, his podcast in which they were talking about how like he puts the ball on the floor way too often. And one thing that I brought up was just that he didn't have much room. Uh, <laughs> I mean, when he was in the NBA, it was it was it was totally fine. He did turn the ball over quite a bit, but it, it wasn't that it wasn't that bad or as troublesome as some people thought. You know, looking into the Olympics, like oh my goodness, what, what's going on? He can't even dribble. Uh, it, it's just tougher. It's just tougher. Uh, anyways, moving on. But it's a huge change for our French team to have him. He's an incredible uh, deterrent. He attracts the opposition's defense and frees up uh, space for others. In the final, he's going to cause problems for the Americans. So this is before uh, we actually got to him being Olympics, but I mean, in the uh, gold game, but I, I just missed it. Victor changes things. And if he makes it rain in the penalty shootout, uh, it could be magnificent. I'm happy for him because there's this constant or contact with the French public and they're in the final. Being in the final is a leader, is at, as a leader, oh my gosh, I can't speak, as a leader at 20 years old, even if they're all leaders at the moment is magnificent. So yeah, we've we talked about this time and time again. I thought Victor has not, he had nothing to 
uh, be ashamed of. I thought his performance was fine it was it was it was good i saw some people tweet out like oh you know if if this was another player we we would we really talk bad about him i don't really think that that's the case right i don't think that's the case he's only 20 years old he literally took on the harlem globe trotters i mean there's there's only so much you can do right there's only so much you can do and he led his team fairly well and he started off that game with a lot of aggression and a lot of determination and they just weren't good enough and i started to worry for uh, the french team as well when it was literally just uh wimby and one other team and i don't even know if that i don't even know if he's going to get signed i think there's been a lot of rumors around that like whether or not he, he can even get signed right now or if anyone's going to spend the money on it but yeah when it came down to it i was just like mm, i don't know i don't know uh and that player was yabuseli i'm when I was live streaming, I said, yeah, bus Selly. And then people said, oh, yeah, that's right. And then later on, I saw comments and people says, yeah, boo Selly. I don't know what to believe anymore. I'm going to go with Yabu Selly. Or maybe I'm saying it wrong right now. Anyways, it was just him and Wimby and those two. They 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 tried their best, but I, I did get a little worried when it was all on their shoulders. But um, at the end of the day, he did a He did a really great job. So, uh, yeah, big shout out to uh, Montclair for giving our boy some uh praise but hey man i'm excited for this upcoming season i think that it's going to be a hoot and this is a good way to start it off um you know you got i told you guys this before i am on the keto diet right i've been on it for a good minute losing those pounds right trying to build up that muscle uh but at the end of the day man something like this an event like this i might have to cheat I might have to cheat. I might have to cheat on that day. I'm sorry. This is gonna be this is gonna be a lot of fun. Um, but anyways, uh, if you guys have anything that you want me to talk about, there's a couple things that you can do. Um, I'm gonna continuously put out posts like this one, in which I say any questions or topics you want mentioned, leave it below. I'll constantly put those out so you can comment there. I want to get you guys a little bit more um, involved. Not to say you're not doing your thing. You're doing your thing in the comments. You're great. You you jump on when I'm live. I'm not saying that. But I, I do uh, want to at least uh, get get some of your uh, thoughts out there as well, because this is what this channel is, is more community than you would get from, you know, your typical, I don't know, ESPN channel or whatever. Uh, and also, also tag me, tag me anything on Twitter. I know this site sucks. I know Twitter is terrible, um, but please just tag me on any post that you find interesting, any question you have, uh, more than likely I will see it. I think I think I have to be following you for you to message me, but you can at least uh, uh, tag me in something. I will get the noty um, over here. So I do appreciate all the love nonetheless. I'll give it to you guys later, man. Until next time, bye.